It's the Spin Master's super fun calendar! There's always something fun to do. Arts and crafts! For this activity, ask your parents for help. Hi friends! Today we're going to show you how to make and decorate your very own Fussly Cookies at home! Now let's get to it! First things first, we'll need to use the oven, so only make this recipe if you've got an adult to help. To make the cookies, you'll need to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Spectacular! In a bowl, use a mixer to cream one cup of butter and one cup of white granulated sugar until smooth. This should take about three minutes. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of almond extract, and one egg to the bowl. Continue to mix until everything is nicely blended. If you're allergic to nuts or don't like almonds, feel free to leave the almond extract out. In a different bowl, combine two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and three cups of all-purpose flour. Time to make our dough! Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients a little at a time. The dough should be very stiff. If it becomes too stiff for your mixer, put the dough onto your counter and finish kneading the dough by hand. Next, it's important not to chill the dough. Once the dough is formed, divide it up into smaller batches. Roll out the dough onto a floured surface until it's about a quarter inch thick. Then, use a cup to cut your cookies into perfect circles. Time. Transfer your cookies to a baking tray and pop them in the oven for 6 to 8 minutes. They should be soft and just on the verge of turning slightly golden brown. Once the cookies are done, let them cool on the baking tray until they're firm. Then transfer them to a cooling rack. Excellent work so far! Now it's time to make the icing. In a large bowl, mix together 10 tablespoons of water, 3 tablespoons of meringue powder, and 4 cups of powdered sugar. Mix the icing on high for about 1 to 2 minutes. When you lift your mixer out of the bowl, the icing should drizzle down and smooth out within 5 to 10 seconds, like this. Once the icing is ready, cover it up with a damp cloth because it'll dry out fast. Now it's time to add color to the icing. With a bit of red, yellow, blue, and violet food coloring, you can create all the colors you'll need. In small bowls, mix the icing with red and yellow to make orange for the body, blue to make light blue for the eyes, all the colors to make a very dark purple for the pupils, and red with white icing to make a light pink for the mouth. Great! Leave about one and a half cups of icing in the main bowl as you'll need white icing to start. Remember to keep your bowls covered with damp cloths when they're not being used. Once your colors are ready, it's time to fill your piping bags. We use number one and number three piping tips for all the bags. Brain Spark! If you don't have piping bags, 
cutting a hole into the corner of a sandwich bag works just as well. First up, white. Put your white icing into a piping bag and cover your cookies with a thin layer. You can use the tip of your piping bag to smooth out any bubbles. Let them dry for about two to three minutes. If they're taking longer to dry, you can always pop them in the fridge to help speed things up. Next, we need to draw our fuzzly. Use orange icing to create the outline of the fuzzly. And then fill in the center. Looking good. This fuzzly needs some blinkers. Let's give them eyes. Use blue icing to draw slightly larger circles like this. Then let the icing set. Can't forget the mouth. Use pink icing to give this fuzzly a big, bright smile. Now for the pupils. Use black or super dark purple icing to make slightly smaller circles so you can still see the blue around them. To finish things off, we're gonna add a sparkle in each eye. Oh, and we can't forget an adorable tooth, like this. And there you have it, a cute and delicious batch of your very own fuzzly cookies. There's only one thing left to do. Thanks for watching. <gasps> cookies? And don't eat your cookies all at once now, okay? See you next time. Let's watch more. Don't forget to like and subscribe.